The Story of Zamzam Ibrahim, peace be upon him, traveled to Palestine, then Egypt trying to spread the message of Allah. He became old and gray-haired, but had no children. His wife Sara suggested he marry Hajar, and from her he had a son named Ismail, peace be upon him. When Ismail was still a baby, Prophet Ibrahim took him and Hajar to the Hijaz Mountains. There in the Valley of Bakka, where Prophet Adam had built the first house to worship Allah, he left them alone. They had some water and food to last them a few days. When Prophet Ibrahim turned to go, Hajar ran after him and asked him why he was leaving them there. She asked again and again, but he would not reply. Has Allah commanded you to leave us here? She asked. Yes, he replied. Hajar walked back to her baby, sure that Allah would take care of them. When she could no longer see him, Prophet Ibrahim raised his hands to the sky and begged Allah to take care of his family. In a day or two, they ran out of food and water. Baby Ismail was thirsty and cried. There were two hills in the valley, Safa and Marwa. Desperate for water, Hajar ran from one to the other, hoping to see a caravan. She ran back and forth several times, then heard a voice echo in the valley below. She ran to where her baby lay and saw an angel digging the earth. Water gushed out of the ground. Hajar shouted, Zam, Zam, which means, Stop, Stop! Hajar gathered rocks and soil around the spring to collect the water, drank till she was full, and fed her baby too. A caravan saw a flock of birds flying over the Bakka Valley. These birds only fly over water, they thought. Bakka was known to be dry, but the caravan went there anyway. Hajar shared her water with the people and they settled there. The blessed spring became what we call Zamzam, and because of it, Bakka became a small town. Today, this town is called Makkah, the city where the house of Allah stands.